Good afternoon. We are going to start. Welcome um, students and all the lecturers, all the representatives uh, to our exciting auspicious occasion for best assignment. Um, we are very excited uh, about this occasion. So um, without any further ado, I want to thank you for coming and to celebrate um, what our students have done today. So when you look at um, uh, assignments at, at university level, they are academic writings. Uh, here we want to, you know, the students, uh, the knowledge that they acquire, we want to see what they produce from their course and their understanding, the courses that they are doing. And the library plays a very important role in this, in this regard. That's why we started um, the best assignment. Mm -hmm. We, we started, started at Bloemfontein campus in 2020. Um, we are on our third year now, and we want to congratulate South Campus. Let's give them a hand for coming on board. <laughs> so um, we can see that it's really um, bearing fruit. So what the library does is that we want to contribute to this. Um, when we do training, we want to see results because we provide training, um, embedded training on academic and scholarly um, info resources that we provide at the library. So when the students use them, or rather when we train them, we encourage them to go and, and use the resources because the university um, pays a lot of money, uh, your money, so you must use them, you should use them, because they are credible sources, um, because we discourage students to go and look outside, because you know there's so many predatory information journals there that the students might use. So to safeguard you, the, the university has provided th those resources that assist you in your academic journey, because we want to see a, a well-rounded student when you live here, ready for work. And so this is but our contribution as a library. Um, so uh, I want to, with that note, I will just introduce myself. <laughs> My name is Kekho Putti. I'm the academic um, faculty librarian for the natural and agricultural sciences at, at the Bloemfontein campus. So I will be your program director for, for today. So without further ado, I'm just going to ask um, our director from the library services to come and just give us a bit of background. I touched a, a little bit, but she was the brainchild behind this project. So she will give you more on that. And I know she's very excited to talk about it. So welcome, Ms. Molopiani. Thank you, Ms. K. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, colleagues. Good afternoon, our wonderful students. This is an, a, a very exciting moment for us as the library. Uh, this is a partnership between us, the academics, and the students. What is even more fun is that now this is grassroots level. When we started this project, we were looking at the third years and the fourth years. Uh, <coughs> we realized that you know this collaboration is what really defines what a university is. So Geho has already explained, we started with two assignments in 2020. And the lecturers that brought the students were equally excited. In 2021, we had 13 assignments. And now it was during COVID, but now the excitement, even other, the academics publicized the 
assignments in their newsletters. They reported in faculty boards because this is very significant where we are saying we are nurturing undergraduate research from the onset as academics, as the students, as the library. In 2021, we received how many assignments? 21 assignments last year. And what we did, because now our interest is to make sure that whatever that we do as the library reach global platforms, then we developed a community on Govsi Scholar. Govsi Scholar is our archive, our scholarly archive, where we upload thesis and dissertations, where we upload uh, lecturers, uh, uh, conference proceedings, conference papers, where we upload the uh, journal articles that they publish on Govsi Scholar. Then we decided we are going to have an undergraduate research community on our Govsi Scholar. Then some of those assignments, we did upload them on our Govsi Scholar. Believe you me, USA, China, Japan, Korea, they are just zooming like this. When you look at the views, we are being, and it's undergraduate. So can you imagine the significance of you sitting down and saying, I'm going. So it means when you write an assignment, you have to write it with, with passion, knowing that there is so much. Remember, I was trying to look at one paper to say which one exactly were they looking for. Some of the students came up with in, in, in inventions. So who knows who might say, can we collaborate with your undergraduate students? So it is, we, we are trying to take you and put you on the global map. When you write an assignment, consult your librarian to assist you with one, two, three, four. Right now we are trying to get end note so that you know we, you have everything. You have the resources, you have end note, you just sit and you write that assignment. <laughs> I want you to applaud yourself for sitting here today for the, for the hours that you are going to get. Applaud yourselves. And, 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 and you must post it on your social media platforms <laughs> and, 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 and share your, with your, your parents on WhatsApp messages so that they see that you are an achiever. Applaud for yourself again. <laughs> I want to thank our academics. Thank you for this amazing work that you are doing, that you are putting. Remember, you are not just doing it for yourselves for the children, but you are doing it for the country and the economy and our impact as the university. I don't want to go on. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Malopiani. Did I not tell you? <laughs> She's very excited. We are all excited. Um, yes, she mentioned the collaboration. It's, it's very important at the university. We believe in that between academics and the library and all stakeholders to make things better for the students. Um, also in terms of uh, the global impact that we are making, I can just mention that the views that we have already on Govsi Scholar are 892 and we launched this on in July. So in July 2022 on Govsi Scholar. So um, 2022, in August, we had 315, September 299, and now it's 213. Okay, and then July it started, it was just six, 65 at that, at that time. So I can mention in South Africa, the views are already 679, as um, Jeanette also mentioned there, other countries, uh, USA is, let's say China is actually top, about 39 people. So you can see that they are really going through these, um, this assignment. One of the students, so, uh, was a group assignment that they did was to solve a problem at the gate uh, during COVID on how to um, combine the card, 
the remember how many things we were using at the gate. Sometimes you get you got so agitated, you were scanning and what what what. So they were trying to put everything together in one system so that when you just go in the gate, it either reads your card and it has all your information in, then you go through instead of going through all the checks one by one. So it was quite a an, an interesting project that we did. So now, when they look at it, they, they are so excited, the feedback that we get from them, that they are so excited that their assignment is being you know, seen across the world. So that motivates them. Some of them are already working, they're doing honors, but they're communicating between each other about what has happened. And those who are studying, who are doing honors now, they want to go come for the presentation because we've taken the best assignment a step further. What we are doing now, we are going to include the second years in 2020, we are in 20, yeah, in the year, next year, we're going to include the second years because we realize that it's where um, they do a lot of uh, practical work like videos and things. Those are things and quite interesting because when we asked for, we called for, for assignments, some of them sent videos, but we only focused on third years and fourth and honors right now, but they are also interested. So it shows that they want to be part of this. So we are going to include them, the second years, third years, undergrads, and fourth year. And then we are also going to have a seminar for honors. So all the honors are going to present their papers to us as part of the competition. So it also helps them in public speaking skills, presentation, you know, getting together a PowerPoint and those type of things and standing in front of people. So it's it's really um, a rounded project, if I can put it that way. So having said that, I would like to also invite Ne Nkotsing Mokoshi. She is representing the South Campus um, Teaching and Learning um, South Campus Teaching and Learning Director, no? or uh, yes. May I just ask you to come, please? Can we give her a hand? Uh, good day, everyone. Uh, my name is Nkotze Mukhosi. I'm here on behalf of Ms. Gugile uh, Tuiti Royabona. Um, okay, I'm not going to take long. Uh, she only said that I should pass the measures and congratulate everyone who's here and wish you all the best. Thank you. Short and sweet. Thank you, ma'am. Um, following that, I would like to also invite Ntate Marcus, who is our Assistant Director for Marketing at the uh, um, Bloemfontein campus. He's going to speak about the African language press and writing. Uh, Mr. Mapile is very, very active in marketing the library and all the events. As you can see, most of this equipment comes from the marketing department showcasing what the library is doing and the university. Thank you very much, colleagues. Uh, I'm not going to talk about your writing. I'm going to talk about uh, now translating your work into African languages. I think uh, a lot of focus has been on, uh, you know, s our young people are not writing, our young people are not reading, this dwindling reading patterns. But today we can actually say, you are a writer, you are a writer. So everyone is a writer. So I think we have written now. But the story now is that, how are we going now to preserve what we have written and translate it into our African languages? So we have established uh, the African Languages Press that will solely focus on publishing work on African languages. That is from Sisutu to Venda, Africans and everything. So today, because Nagi Nababa action, um, I'm going to actually commit and say, is it possible that then we immediately agree and translate this work that we've done 
and we choose a language to say, maybe Soto, and we translate all the assignments into this particular language and we publish a book. Because I think that will be actually be beautiful uh, as a start. So that then um, next time when you write, you actually now you know, um, know that you are writing for multiple uh, users, multiple people, so that then later these assignments are actually able to go into high schools and when people come into university already they've got a little bit of what is taking place here. Can we do that? Because if we are going to do that, then I'm going to say, hey, Mama Dina, just take the details, <laughs> give them the contract, because I want you to live here as lawyers, I want you to live here as accountants, but most importantly for me, to live here as published authors. You know, that is actually a very big thing, I think, for me uh, and for us as a university that we are actually investing to ensure that you continue to write even after you have left the university. So I think if there's one project that I think out of this event, because now out of every event, I always want something to happen. Uh, let's look at the assignments. We get a translator, and then we sit. And even for those who have not, uh, maybe, um, are not receiving awards today, let's maybe relook, you know, have a look at them, because I think they're about 17. So 17, it's gonna be a little bit. So let's, let's have something that's a, is a bit thicker. So, uh, Medina, let's look at the other, other assignments that didn't go through and we polish them and we start looking for a translator. So we'll choose Soto for now. And then uh, maybe next year we choose uh, Zulu and then the other year we, we choose Africans. Then we're actually building a community and, and ensuring that we're contributing towards um, preserving our own languages. Because now I think uh, everyone is written in English. And we can all say, you know, speak English. I don't think we have any doubt. But the issue for me now is speaking in our African languages. And that for me creates a problem. I always have a, a question that I, you know, this thing that I always say is a comment or a question. That when um, up, um, um, uh, Africans were speaking as an academic language, as a, there, were no, there were no speeches. People made a decision. And this is our decision as a investor of the free state to say, uh, best assignments, uh, we we'll then translate them into a particular language. Then, because already this is academic work. So we are, we are now in that process where we're developing African languages, um, you know, uh, into academic languages. And hopefully later, some of you, as you, you know, progress in your careers and so forth, you'll be able then to revisit the very same work and do some other work, do some other research and build on it and have that chemistry book or mathematics book in Setswana, in Susutu. So for this, Papa Ekshenaari, we are going to translate it and we'll start this work. And hopefully when we come again next year, we must also be launching the very same book. Can we agree on that? So we must clap for it, so that then uh, uh, we, are, we are all following it through. So, so make sure that when you, you, you write your second assignment, the very same uh, you know, uh, a, a, a process, and you are here again, there is a book launch taking place for our assignment. And now we are moving towards you know, ensuring that we have academic, we are, we are building our languages um, in that space. So thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much, Papa Action. Let's give him a hand again. Yes, you know what Papa Action is? Somebody who puts actions to his words, eh? <laughs> so we thank you for that, Dina. I hope you have your pen and paper ready to, to get those assignments. I think it's, it's something amazing to celebrate our, our languages in our country and how best to do that with the best assignment, eh? to share information in different languages. I was just thinking when you was talking, I'm thinking, if it's a math assignment, how are we going, <laughs> <laughs> how are we going to translate it into Sana? <laughs> okay, 
They say a program director never makes mistakes. Ne? I can chop and change things <laughs> in the program. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to call Linda Sparks. I know Linda. Um, at this, I remember at the Bloemfontein campus, we were busy with an uh, action research project. Uh, there are papers that we have published. So I did approach her and Tandeka and to ask her, because we're writing a paper on academic, uh, on the, what do you call these books? Graded readers, yes. The graded readers. So we need to collect some data. So she's waiting for our ethical clearance. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, we're going to write. Uh, we we're busy with that paper to polish it up, and um, we need to collect data from the students, academic. How they how how do they find the books that we are they are reading at the library, in terms of hard copies and online. So um, that's how I met her and Tandeka. So Linda is the module co coordinator here at the South Campus. Welcome, Linda. Thank you. Do I have to use the mic? Okay, I do, yeah, I do, okay. Okay, so um, thank you very much for having me here today. Okay, esteemed writers and fellow colleagues, <laughs> yeah, and well done to all of our students here today. So it is an honor to be here today to see our students receive awards for the talent they are showing in their writing classes. Firstly, it has been such a privilege to also work with our wonderful librarian, Ms. Dina, <laughs> and for her initiative and collaboration with, a with academic literacy. The contribution she has made in not only visiting our classes, but also assisting with uh, literacy skills in our classes, information literacy skills, but also with the, this award ceremony, um, has gone a far way in leading our students to the place they are today. Um, the Best Assignment Awards is an excellent, innovative approach to motivating our students in their su success not only as writers, but also in their future studies and careers. I do hope we'll be able to continue with this in the future. And I can see from the previous speeches that <laughs> it looks like we will. So I'm very excited about that. <laughs> um, we would not be here without the hard work of our amazing South Campus team of facilitators. So, so thank you very much. Your expertise, experience, and dedication to your students is evident always. And today this really shines through. If it were not for your hard work and belief in your students, our courses would fall flat, and I hope you always know this. It is through your talents as teachers and through your own innovative work in the writing class that you can see your achievements at this today. Your students are incredibly lucky to have all of you there, there as their facilitators and to have your constant guidance throughout the year. Our classes can be li long and tough <laughs> and tedious and grueling, and um, yeah, but excellent teaching and student uh, engagement strategies make your classes exciting and fun. And I am witness to this always. So um, well done for quality teaching and learning to all our facilitators. I think they should also get a round of applause for that. <laughs> yeah. And then to our students who have worked so hard, uh, many congratulations to you. I do hope you will cherish this moment and take the skills you have learned from your excellent facilitators <laughs> into the rest of your writing tasks. For many of you, this is your first or second academic essay, and now most of you can even write an abstract. 
Um, <laughs> this, is, this is something many academic scholars battle with, I promise you. So, so well done. <laughs> I saw, I saw the, the how how worried a lot of you became about that. But well done for following through and achieving, um, going to the extra battle with that. So, I'm often in the background, but I saw how hard you worked at your assignments, and the extra effort you went to to achieve this award. Well done for your hard work and making it this far and for doing so well. I do hope you'll keep returning to the reading and writing skills you have learned so, so as you progress in your studies. So well done to our students of excellence. May your paths be continue to be brightened by this achievement. I thank you all. Thank you. Thanks very much. <laughs> thank you, Linda. You made it. <laughs> uh, I'm also, don't worry, I'm also that old school paper person and books but I mix we mix them all right so um, thank you so much for that uh, you are right the without the the academics and you know the students wouldn't be this far and the help of of the library as well so as I said earlier we are in collaboration um, in this to, to see our students achieve and become um, excellent in, in our communities because it doesn't end in the classroom, it doesn't end at university. You are extension of your community. So when they see you flourish and doing so well, you know, the young children, they get motivated and they want to also be like you. So don't think that it, no, there's no one, no child watching you where you are. They are watching how you're doing. So keep on doing it and keep on shining. And keep on, you know, appreciating what you are receiving from, from your lecturers. All right. So um, the next, as we are continuing with our excitement, we are going to call Dina. Dina, who's going to do the presentation of the awards. Um, She's a South Campus um, librarian. It's an exciting time. It's now on. Um, as introduced, my name is Dina Mashiani, the South Campus librarian. And it really is an honor standing in front of you this, this afternoon. And I must say this is not, it's actually a team effort. And the previous speakers have really literally taken words out of my mouth, <laughs> basically. And I'd firstly like, before we present the awards to our uh, recipients, I'd like to acknowledge the people who were behind this project. Um, I remember when I joined this campus last year in April, when I knocked on Mrs. Linda's door to ask to visit her classes. This was during COVID-19 where they had to work in, in uh, finishing the academic year. She never said no. Um, she allowed us as a library to visit the classes. Then we did the sessions virtually. Um, and this year, again, that's when we, we got to visit the classes. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased because um, it has yielded positive um, results as well. Um, I'd also acknowledge the, the facilitators who submitted the assignments, the best assignments. And I will, if you allow me, I'm going to call them, each, each and every one of, of the facilitators. Um, Ms. Uh, Priscilla Hussein, thank you very much. <laughs> Mr. Theofan Zay, thank you. <laughs> Ms. Noku Lunga Ngusa, thank you. Um, Shelton Mawoyo, I'm not sure if they're here. Siwa Piwem Papela. Kidiwone Matsidiso. And lastly, Ivo Hebst. I, I hope I pronounced it correctly. Thank you so much for all your submissions. Thank you. Um, I am now 
going to um, present the awards to our recipients. We're going to start off with Market Mama Katu. Tapelonkomo Nompumelelomo Taung Levani Fanel. Hululuseho <laughs> Niveis. Pilo Kumete Lise Patosi, I think, in absentia. Paco Tubakali, also in absentia. Risi Hompier. Oh, 
Um, we also have the best top three students uh, <laughs> um, from the assignments that we, we received. There's also a criteria that we use as, as librarians as well from the library. Because as mentioned, this is a collaborative project between the um, academic department and the library as well. So from the library, uh, from all the submissions, we looked at... Um, the type of sources that the students used. If they used scholarly sources, Mr. Marcus, and um, our program director mentioned that the library is spending quite a lot of money to subscribe, to purchase these resources on an annual basis. So we want our students to make use of those sources, and not only to make use of them, but to also use them ethically. That's where a referencing comes in. So we. We did not only use, look at the type of sources they used, we also looked at how they referenced, how they cited, how they acknowledged the authors of the sources that they used. Then we came to the best top three. <laughs> um, our first one is Owami Ngobo. Also notice that the bag is also different as well. <laughs> the second one is Aaron Hayward. And last but not least, <laughs> we have Alia Reddy. Can we just give another round of applause to um, From the library, um, this really shows the effort that um, we put in terms of forging these collaborations between the library, uh, the academics, and also the students as well. So we wish you all the best. Um, with your future endeavors and hope that you're going to put more effort onto your assignments going forward. And please make use of the library. Please make use of us as your librarians. We are here to assist you. But we're not going to spoon feed you. We are going to train you. We are going to show you how to use these resources. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Dina. Uh, I almost thought we were in a funeral, but I'm glad now I saw the excitement. Can we give them a, a round of applause again? <laughs> well done, students. Um, so as, as Dina has said, um, we are there to assist you as librarians, and please make use of us. Um, we, are, we are qualified to do that. So <laughs> um, I see some more people coming to celebrate with us. Welcome. You are early for the next awards. <laughs> Late for the one. OK. Um, not only do we have students who are representing 
other students on campus, but they also have to be an example in what they do. It's not just talk shop, but they also show in their work. So this person that I'm going to invite, when we, we have come to the end of our program, um, is uh, the, the student engage for, for student engagement. Um, was also going to give us a vote of thanks. It's a SRC representative, Resejo, who's also one of the recipients. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> yes. But before he comes and talk, I have been instructed strictly to ask you, please, the, all those who have the trophies, please return them because we need to put your name on it. Okay? <laughs> Don't worry. It's going to have your name on it. Then you can go around going you know? So please bring it. And also there needs, needs to be um, photos that will be taken as well, the students and the lecturers. And as I said, the program director doesn't make mistakes, ne? <laughs> um, before Resejo, apologies Resejo, I just want to call um, uh, a word from a student, one of them who won the best assignment before the vote of say thanks, is Holo Lucero. Can you please come and just tell us how it was, how was the journey? Yes, give her a hand. Um, good day, ladies and gentlemen. Standing before you is Kholulu Sejo Nivenhuis. It is with great honor to be standing in front of you all as one of the recipients of the Best Assignment Awards. Uh, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't be here today if it was not for our hard work and consistency. Uh, we can all agree that this semester has been hectic. <laughs> <laughs> the academic pressure and the end, end of year fatigue has been too much, but I am so proud of how far we have come. There have been times where we felt like giving up, breakdowns here and there, but we never let those define or distract us. Um, the best assignment competition has unleashed the greater motivation resilience and persevi perseverance we have had hidden inside of us. Um, this competition also makes students to put more effort into, uh, into their assi assignments. Not only does it motivate students, but it also challenges them. Um, academic writing is not easy, and it's an ongoing process. Um, you learn new things here and there as you go. Um, I also can't believe I learned how to write an abstract, but then <laughs> In one day, literally. <laughs> I mean, that's how challenging it is. But we should always be thankful for challenges we face because they shape us into becoming our better selves. And I want to say a big thank you to the UF Library for honoring our efforts and hard work, to our coordinator, and especially our facilitators. To the recipients, well done, and I'm super proud of you all. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was beautiful. Thank you. Um, I hope you heard um, the, how it all paid off. Uh, and she learned how to write the abstract. Amazing, eh? <laughs> yeah. So that will be on those abstracts who have been requested will be the ones on, on Govsi Scholar. Okay, back to Resejo. <laughs> Thank you, Dina, <laughs> for, you know, when you are looking at this thing, you see a lot of writing, so I never know where am I jumping here on the program and all that. So, thank you, Resejo, uh, you, Resejo you can come through. Give him a hand. Good afternoon. Dumelang, Goyamelag. Um, my name is Rese Khompje. Um, am I audible? Okay. Um, like I said, Dumelang, hello, Khuyamelak. My name is Rese Khompje. I'm the SRC academic here on South Campus. And I'd like to thank you all for participating today in the Best Awards. Um, <laughs> um, 
to the recipients, um, w- um, well done for your hard work. Um, it it does not go un unnoticed. Thank you. <laughs> um, um, for the three best awards, I'm very happy to say this is my faculty, and you guys should keep pushing forward. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, um, as well as a thanks to our facilitators, like Mr. Habs over there. He helped me a lot with my assignment. Uh, but you know, it was tough, but <laughs> you know, we, ki- we keep moving. Um, to the library as well, as a whole, thank you for this award ceremony. If it wasn't for you guys, then we wouldn't have been here together today. And yeah, thank you. Thank you for, for everything. Thank you for setting the bar and be an example as a SRC member. Um, guys, these students have set the bar. Let's let's top it the next one. Eh? Um, I, we've come to the end of our program. I tried to finish to be quick so that I can be invited again. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I'm going to ask all the recipients and the facilitators to please come forward for photos. And then thank you for coming. See you next year. Thank you. <laughs>